Okay, I may have found the right way to go. Oh, I may have found the right way to go. Ooh. Let's poison you. I'm gonna go with Frostbite Venom. I missed. Oh, he resisted, and well, that's what I get. Okay, it's fine. Even with no stamina, I'm still blocking enough that it's completely fine. And boom. Now please tell me that I've done what I want. I just saw that open up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay. Well, I didn't see anything close behind me, but I saw that open up. And here you are, Gideon. The tunnel is alive! The tunnel is alive! And with the sound of music, too. <laughs> what I'll say, in his defense, is I would probably freak the hell out too if I learned that the tunnels I was trying to navigate through were alive and moving. I would feel... Would claustrophobic be the right word? I'm gonna say claustrophobic. Not sure if it's right, but in my mind, that seems right. Oh, here we go. To the Grove of Reflection. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't need Nerve Shatter or anything to be here, which, once again, I i was guessing. I wasn't entirely sure myself. Hopefully things aren't going to start moving around in here. Hopefully getting to the Grove means that I have done my job, that I've passed this trial. Hello? Anything? Oh! Yep, there we go. There's stuff there. Let me just get the Sheagorth shaped amber. And now in the middle we have Shadow Rend. Wait, does it show what else it is, or is it just Shadow Rend? I want the sword, though. Oh, did it work? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Um, no, I gotta defeat me first, that's right. Because Grove Reflection, fight your reflection. See which of you is the better you. And he's using the sword, because I wanted the sword. Come over here, Mimic. Come over here. I'd rather summon you for a boss fight, but, you know, this will have to do as well. You gotta defeat you before you can summon you. Oh, hey, don't use magic. I don't use magic. You're a liar. You're an absolute liar. I'm just waiting for the sword again. There we go. Oh, were you supposed to pick back up right there? Can I... Oh, and then I can swap between the two. Look at that. And... This does fulfill one of the optional objectives. You can use this in place of Nerve Shatter, but, you know, I'm gonna get everything that I can. I'm gonna get every single item that I possibly can, and probably be over-encumbered as a result, but, you know, we'll worry about that a little later. I'll drop the Golden Battle Axe. I should use... I should just consolidate a little bit, because I'm not gonna use all of these items. As beautiful as they are. Yeah, I don't need everything. I don't need every single item. It's the nice thing of... The Golden Saint and Dark Seducer gear, they have their trade-offs. Golden Saint armor is heavy armor, whereas Dark Seducer armor is light armor. But Dark Seducer weapons do more base damage than... Golden Saint weapons do, which I think is a really good way to handle it. That's not from the mod, that's from the original Creation Club pack, but I, I think that's a really nice way to do it. Uh-oh. And here I was thinking it was going to be a nice, easy way out. Nope. Kind of surprised you didn't have a boss bar. Just saying. Kind of expected you to have your own little boss health bar. 
<laughs> Shadowrun made very quick work you, though. So that's all that matters. And I did unfortunately get... Yep. Scale on Fever, 25% weaker to fire damage. That could be a problem. I, um... I might need some healing potions. I don't think I have any on me. And there you go. The working version of the sign. I did hear from the mod team. They did get me an early build, or an early version of the SMIM uh, compatibility fix. It will be included in the next version of the mod, in the next update for the mod, which uh, they are currently working on. They're just running into a couple things that have... Slowed it down a little bit, but it is on its way. They are hoping to release it in the next couple months. As always, I prefer people take their time with stuff like that anyway. I'd rather you release a comprehensive update that you're happy with rather than, you know, release an update now that might break more things because you didn't Appreciating the artwork, check on are you? Thing. Mm. I'm currently in my amber period. Art gives life meaning. Hmm? Well, I've got your amber. Welcome to the near Corgi shop. Theodore Gorlash. At your service? Is this the amber you wanted? The Shiagoreth shaped amber? How am I supposed to work with this? You can barely see the detail. It's so abstract. It's not my fault. I didn't do it. I hear abstract art is all the rage these days. You may have a point there. But critics these days, oh... They're vicious. Amen. Hmm. Let's see here. Well, it's a start. <laughs> Thank you, Morta. I mean, valued customer. <laughs> hey, you're not wrong. I am now both then, mortal and customer. Was there anything else? You were gonna teach me about amber smithing? Certainly. Take this manual. It'll tell you everything you need to know. With pictures. Soon. You'll be a master sculptor, like me. Uh, well, in a thousand years, perhaps. I don't know why I'm just imagining in my mind <laughs> that if if there was anywhere in the Elder Scrolls universe that you would have pop-up books, that it would be in the Shivering Isles. Uh, how about something I can use right now? Oh, don't look at me like that. Well, why not? I can pout. Fine. You want something flashy? Take this! Great for parties! Hmm? Ooh, there you go, the Ring of Disrobing, which, um... I remember that from Oblivion. Ta-ta! Alright, so let's read the manual. Amber Smithing Manual. Amber Smithing. Learn you must know Daedric Smithing to craft with Amber. So... Ooh, okay. Um, may need to do a lot of off-screen grinding for that then, because I do not believe I have that skill. <laughs> yep, I, uh, I most certainly do not. Greetings, mortal? Uh, fellow mortal. Mortal fellow. Yeah, just, how do you do, fellow mortal? How do you do, <laughs> indeed? So we have... The Ring of Disrobing modifies the wearer's worn equipment. Wow, I wonder what the modification could possibly be. Which, um... I'm not gonna wear it right now. Surprise, surprise. But we get two different... Uh, smithing disciplines. You get amber smithing and you also get madness smithing. So, before we go on and find Nerve Shatter, I want to uh, learn the madness smithing. So, let's go do that. Now, I believe the the madness smith, or whoever's gonna teach us how to smith madness, is going to be in the swamp. So, uh, just wandering through. <laughs> we're just gonna wander through. I know some people were asking about what HUD mod I'm using. I'm using Sky HUD, Nordic UI, and then uh, it's Nordic-ish UI, which is essentially the... 
mod that makes Skyhud look like the rest of Nordic UI, which, uh, still just, you know, kind of fooling around and seeing what I might want to use for Skyrim Saturday moving forward, but... I'll figure it out in due time. I'll work on a new kind of, like, baseline mod list, just because the last time I really, really did a brand new one was, um, back in 2021. Hello? Uh-oh. You're not who I'm looking for. Very much not what I was looking for. Have you seen anyone, you know, smithing with madness around here? I'm glad I have this sword. But the thing is, even when I learn madness smithing, I'm still going to need to raise my smithing from 15 to 100. Or 15 to 90, because 90 is Daedra, and then 100 is Dragon. So, it's not as terrible. Still slightly terrible, but it could be worse. <laughs> I am working on my two-handed, at least. Oop, I missed a little bit. I also thought <laughs> that swing was gonna kill him, and then was very, uh, disappointed in myself when it didn't. This looks... promising. I don't know, just big-ass tree in the swamp? Argonians like trees, you know, hissed. Is that, um, is that okay for me to say? I already said it, so. Oh, well. Yeah, this looks promising, right? There's a house. It's not under the big tree like I was hoping, but it's tree adjacent. Sees the moon's shack. That sounds promising. Hi. I'm not going to steal your madness sword. That sounds like a bad idea. What is this? Someone new? An outsider? Welcome to my humble shop, stranger. Not as nice of a shop as uh, Theodore's, but you know, you might be at a slight disadvantage compared to good old Theodore. What do you have for sale? A bit of this, a bit of that. Scavenge from the finest marshes. Which... Ooh, he has no gold. Never mind. I was gonna try and sell to him. That is not gonna happen. How did you manage to tame these bugs? Oh, it took a while, but I did it. Fed them scraps and other things. Mm -hmm. They know how to behave now. They're like my friends. And they can be your friends, too. For a reasonable price. How reasonable? I'm interested in adopting a bug. Of course, of course. Which one? Portema or Pelagius? Ooh. 250 each. I'm gonna go with, uh, Potema. Good, good. May she be a true companion to you. I hope so. How did you end up in the asylum? I didn't betray the Mad God, not like the others, no, no. When the Grey March came, I protected my home from those shiny, gleamy monstrosities. No, I did something far more unforgivable to the Prince of Madness. I learned the truth. Oh no, he's a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> the truth? What's the truth? Can't say, shouldn't say. It's a secret to everyone. They don't know. They aren't allowed to know. It's about Kate Middleton. He knows. They couldn't see it. They were only looking with their eyes. Their lying eyes. But I looked beyond, and I could see it. No one else could see it. Just me. See what? He won't tell me. He doesn't want me to know. I, I can't tell you. Yep. Mm -hmm. They'll know. Mm -hmm. They're always listening. They know who knows. I never told anyone you know. I know. What I saw, what I still see. Let's maybe change But here I am. It didn't matter what I didn't say. They could hear my thoughts, 
They knew I knew. Oh, I know. Knew I could see it. Up there. In the sky. The sky? The moon? I didn't say that. I never said that. <laughs> where they can hear. Never where they can hear. But... Maybe... If you know... Can you see it too? I do like the idea... That... He's like, oh, this is the secret. I, I can't tell anyone, but it's, a, but it's his name. Seize the moon. I can't tell you what I see. By the way, nice to meet you. I'm Seize the moon. There's no moon here. I do see it. Do you? Do you? Or are you just saying that to trick me? Are you with them? No. No. I can't trust anyone. I was trying to help him. I, I was trying to be nice. Hey, uh, what can you tell me about this glowing ore? Yes, the ore, the ore. Powerful, dangerous, very rare. Smithing it, rarer still. But I can teach you, yes, yes. Teach you to work its wonders. Mm-hmm. You could teach me to smith it? Yes, yes. But only if you do something for me first. I seek a treasure within the drowned ruins. Bring it to me. What if it was literally just Moonstone? What is the treasure? You will know it when you see it. It will protect me. Oh, no. Protect me from the lunar resonations. I can feel them in my mind. Oh, boy. I've got to block them out. Oh, are we going to find him? <laughs> there's no, there's not really an equivalent for um, a tinfoil hat. I'm just imagining, like, a pot over his head. Uh, yeah, I'll go find the treasure. Blessings upon you. Make haste. Do you want this, uh, this ring that I got? Yeah, I want this ring that, uh, Watch Theodore gave back. me. There are things out there. What, like the moon? And he goes, the moon! The what? Where is it? You see it? Oh, I just freak him out. I just scare him just because, um... Because apparently I'm kind of a dick in that sense. Okay, Drowned Ruin is right across from the Root to Nern. So what I'll do is I'll... Get that. I'll learn madness smithing, and then I'll probably go back and get my smithing up, which I'll just do off-screen, because otherwise that would be really, really boring. And unfortunately, it's not as easy as it used to be with, um, with iron daggers. Which now I think the fastest, cheapest way to do it is jewelry, because they made it so that it's based off of the item's worth, so... Gonna need a lot of gold and a lot of gems in order to make that happen. Because I did see some people asking about it, uh, Theodore Gorlash is not voiced by Wes Johnson, the voice actor who voices um, Shia Goreth and Hermaeus Mora in the Elder Scrolls games. Instead, it is uh, he is voiced by uh, Daniel Hodges, who is a very, very talented voice actor in the modding community who has done several mods where he does his best to imitate to emulate the acting that Wes Johnson has done because otherwise uh, you just wouldn't have anything similar. Or at least you wouldn't have something that sounds as similar. I can tell the differences, but it's a thing of it's close enough where obviously it works. And the fact that we have people wondering if it's the same person also really shows that he's doing a very good job. Yeah, we have the Drowned Ruin right over here, right past a uh, stopgap. Which we're kind of just hanging out in the same corner of the map right now anyway. It's not a huge map, but even still, there's still several locations, and we are going to make sure that we get to every single one of them. If anything, prioritizing some of the side quest stuff now is better because I don't know if you've ever noticed, I like to end on the main quest. I always like to end with whatever the finale to the main quest is because it's just, you know, a little bit more thematic, a little bit more epic that way. I gotta stock up on the Amber, I gotta stock up on the Madness now, that way I can do that smithing when the time comes. Alright, 
And in we go. Oh, where is it showing? Oh, uh oh. Boss enemy? Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. It is showing that. The item, the treasure, is somewhere in this cell. So I'm not sure if that's going to mean that we'll need to maybe go through like another cell, come back to this one. It's hard to say. We're just getting here anyway. But let me also see if I can even summon Potema. Oh, it costs nothing, really? Okay. Potema? Oh, or... No? Pot Potema? Was I supposed to talk to Potema, my bug, first, before I set off? Uh, possibly. So that might be on me. Which I'm sure some of you don't necessarily want a, uh, a bug following you, but hey, I wanted to give it a shot. I wanted to try having <laughs> a bug follower. Hello. You just barged through that. That was your secret entrance, and you very much decided not to keep it a secret, huh? Doesn't look like any of these are this boss, this mini-boss. Also, so trying to hit several of them at once wasn't working. I'm just gonna create a little bit of a choke point. They all just came rushing to see me. You're all just, uh... You're ready. Just watch. Now I'm gonna have no one else to fight in the rest of the ruin, because they're all just right here. Right now. Alright, that's one. And just like last time, like before, I'm just sitting here listening to the music, having the time of my life listening to the music, so. If and when I'm a little quieter during combat, that is often the reason why. Let me just loot real fast, because I'm also going to want to just find more and more gold, which I know they don't have gold, they all just have Void Essence, but still, I am going to need more and more gold. Don't even know if there's much more I'll need to buy in here, but I will likely need more gold for raising my smithing skills when I do get out of here. I'll take your essence as well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your essence. I'm gonna skip the the human flesh. You know what? I'm on a little bit of a um on a flesh diet. Human flesh, specifically. I'll take brief invisibility, not that I'm really stealthy whatsoever, but still could be a good idea. We got bugs down there. If only I had a bug of my own. Just bug versus bug. It's the natural order of things. I think. Let me... Maybe... Try to get a sneak attack off? Not terrible. Also not great. Ooh, almost, almost. I got him. And from here, I'll just switch to my mace real fast. It will be easy enough to finish them off. I don't necessarily think this is going to be the right way to go. Maybe, maybe not. 
I think I'm just, you know, acting as a little bit of an exterminator right now. But there must have been some level of, uh, of peace, of understanding between them and the Flesh Atronachs, because the Flesh Atronachs clearly didn't do anything about them. Oh, this place is really branching out from here. Ooh. Maybe I'll circle back this way later. Yeah, let me maybe focus on the ruin first. I'm also just paranoid that <laughs> the hallways are going to start changing on me. I know that it was just um the root canal, but still, I'm just sitting here going, oh, oh, oh. Mm -mm. Did something move? Did the ground shake? No? Okay, good. <laughs> Let's keep it that way. I'm also just second-guessing which way I want to go for any of this. Uh oh Well, we have people fighting bugs, at least. We do have... A bug versus Grumites, the bug is going to lose. All right, well, maybe I should have gotten in there and helped, but... You know, you live and learn. A little too late for that. All right, let's, oh, oh, I thought he was dead. Oh, I also thought he was dead again. I'm just very confident in my abilities that I'm going to kill these enemies a lot faster than I really am. There we go. See? Yeah. I'm wondering if there's going to be maybe another quest that brings us back here because it really does seem like there's a lot of ways to go that aren't necessarily in the direction of this treasure that I'm after. But it's also just really nice because you do have the new tile set, or at least what I'm calling the new tile set because it's new to the mod. It's new to Skyrim, but it is based off of the dungeons, the tile set that you do see in the Shivering Isles, and once again, just feels so incredibly nostalgic, and I just, I love it. I really, really do.